Hi, my name is John Kolar, Geauga Park District Naturalist, and there are so many amazing things to dis discover in the summertime. One of my favorites would probably be the dragonflies and the damselflies. Check out this beauty. There are so many cool things that I just love about dragonflies and damselflies. Here's a few facts for you. Did you know that there's 140 different types of dragonflies in northeastern Ohio alone? That's an amazing number. This particular guy right here, actually it's a gal, this is a female widow skimmer. They start out their life as a tiny little nymph in the muck at the bottom of a pond, lake, or a stream, or even a river. And uh, this is what the nymph looks like. This is an exoskeleton of a nymph. And uh, there is no, it's not, a, it's not dead or anything like that, but there's a tiny little hole where the dragonfly, the adult, emerges out of the, uh, the exoskeleton. So it'll spend several years sometimes in the muck at the bottom of the pond, feasting on little invertebrates and other little critters at the bottom of the pond. Then it'll crawl up a vegetation like this, like a reed, sedge, cattail, and then it'll emerge as an adult, just like this one. I think it's about time we let this, this one go. What do you think? You think we should let it go? Let's give a countdown. Three, two, one, and off you go. But let's go head down the trail and see if we can find some more. I have some exciting news. I see up ahead on the trail, there's no dragonfly, there's no damselfly. Well, there probably are those two, but I see a dragon queen. Yes, my friends, Miss Linda Gilbert, our Geauga Park District field technician and naturalist, is up ahead trying to catch some dragons. So let's, let's go ahead and see what she's doing. Follow me. Oh, see that? Hey, Linda. <laughs> Hey, Hello, nice John. <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah, did you catch something in there? Uh, it was a clean miss. Oh, it was a clean miss. Oh, goodness gracious. So what are you doing? You're, you're catching uh, a few dragonflies, well, damselflies I'm, here? I'm doing my, you know, usual survey at the Westwoods for dragonflies and damselflies. Oh, you're doing a survey. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about the surveys? What exactly you do for a dragonfly, damselfly <laughs> survey? <laughs> Well, it's just a really an accounting of the different types of species and the approximate numbers that we that we find in a given location. Huh, pretty cool. Like, now, go, go ahead. ahead. Oh, we have like 60 species at the Westwoods. 60 species. 60 species. Wow. One of them is threatened, and 12 of them are rare. So that's wow. pretty good. That's cool. For so location. why is what you're doing today important? Why does Geauga Park District do these surveys anyway? Dragonflies and damselflies can actually be an indicator species that helps you determine the health of a given habitat. Hmm. And so. If if you can find a rare, threatened, or endangered one at a given location, well, that probably determines that there's some pretty pristine habitat around in there. So, huh. cool. They're pretty cool critters, aren't they? Yes, they I are. Think she, she always says that. Dragonflies <laughs> are so cool. They're cool. Yeah. Now, yes. sometimes people think that the dragonflies can sting. Can they sting you with that big old tail that they have? <laughs> I've heard that before. Is that true? Absolutely not. I know they, have, they look kind of ferocious. There's all kinds of like old wives' tales and myths about them where they say, oh, there's like the devil's darning needles and they'll sting you with those big long <laughs> abdomens and things like yeah. that. That's all false. I mean, false. the abdomen. So they're totally harmless. No, they're harmless. They're if they beneficial, leave, maybe? Absolutely. They are predators in all stages of their life. Cool. As the nymph in the aquatic stage and as the adult flying around the pond. Um, the only thing that they're dangerous to are their insects, uh, yeah. especially those ones that bug us, yeah, like the deer flies and the mosquitoes yeah, and all yeah. those. Uh, how do you tell the difference between a dragonfly Ooh. and a damselfly? I just happen What's to have some over here. I can show you the oh. difference. Well, how so convenient. let's go see. Let's go this way. Right. Okay. Ooh, nice. You can hold one. Okay. Thank you very much. Right. Got it. Okay. <laughs> so, the difference between dragons and damsels. Dragonflies hold their wings horizontally huh? when they're at rest. Damselflies hold their wings above their body and folded. Want me to hold that right yeah, there? Yeah, maybe that would be a better thing. You got it? Yep. There you go. Huh. So they hold There's, them behind like that. Yes. Cool. Man, what is this one called? That it, is beautiful. Is it, it's, it's metallic green. I know. Look, Completely look gorgeous, mm -hmm. Linda. What is it? This is the male, and it's called an ebony jewel wing. Whoa. Yeah, with that That's brilliant really cool. iridescent green or blue, depending on the way the sun shines on it, body, and these cold black wings, I think it's my favorite damselfly. They are really yeah. cool. Now, uh, how about that one with all the spots on its wings? This one, oddly enough, and we like this when they're named for what they look like, is the 12 spotted skimmer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12 black spots. And this is the male because he's got these milky sort of whitish um, spots between the black. The female doesn't actually look anything like him. So, well, let's let him go. Three, two, two one. one. Freedom! Oh! <laughs> Yeah. Could you show me how to catch them? The important thing is the swing and the flip. The swing and the, the swing flip. and the flip. So it's a swing and a flip. You improve your chances a little bit if you can swing from behind them or from underneath. This may be the only area um, where they can't see because a dragonfly's eyes Look. encompasses its its whole head almost There's entirely. One that landed on the boardwalk There's one right there. there. Let's see. It's red. It's red. Oop, this is a good one. Ooh, now, isn't that I one of those meadowhawks? Yes, I think this is one that's called the ruby. Okay, Let's give see. it a try. Okay, okay. Up. okay, we'll see here. I like to get stealthy and try and get as close as possible. Oh, missed it by that much! <sighs> Another clean miss. I tell you what, I have a net over there, Linda, and you have your net. What do you say? A contest? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wow, I think we caught just a few. Yeah. I think it was a tie, or a tie. I think I, I think I might have beat you. My, I, 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 I might have beat you by one, one. but no. Like, but you're, you're good. Okay. Yeah, well, anyway. Well, why don't we pull, okay. pull some out and right. let's show them at home uh, what, Ooh, what we found. Do I see a blue dasher in there? Check out those eyeballs. They're like aqua. There's like all kinds of depth in there when you look at them head on, and it's got that pretty white place. And this is a this is a um, common dragonfly that likes to dash around the edges of ponds. Should we let it go? Yeah, let's, okay. let's go. Three, two, one. See ya. It's off. <laughs> wow, that one is red. The male, Ruby Meadowhawk. This Whoa. gorgeous red abdomen with these little black triangles on the side. Shall we let it go? Full size, not Three. a baby, right? No, it's Once full they size. fly, Once they're they full fly, size. They're full size. Cool. Yep. Good. Let it go. Three, two, one. You're off. Uh, I see a pond hawk in there. Pond hawk. Yep. Let's a see if we can hawk. get that one. Yeah, this one's another light blue colored one. Called the Eastern Pond Hawk. Wow, it's really flat. And he also has a light blue abdomen, but he has a green face, not Whoa. a white face like that blue dasher had. And this is a almost mature male. He'll be totally all blue when he's fully mature. Oh, so he's got a little bit of green in his abdomen there still. And look at the tip of its abdomen. Yep, it has like a little, little bit of white, white instead yep. of isn't the, uh, the other dasher one is dark. black, yep. like darker. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Wow, there are a lot of cool dragonflies out here. Three, two, two one. one. You're Oh, there it goes. Unfortunately, we're just about out of time. You know, there's so, just so, so little time, so, yet so many amazing things left to be discovered. And so many dragonflies. I know, I know, I know. What do you, what do you say we head down the trail and uh, go see what else we can find there, partner? All right, and we're off.